Hi, I'll be talking about 5G and now its physical layer and its dimensioning. 5G resources in radio are allocated in time as well as in frequency domain. As an example, uh, on the left side, there is an example of subcarrier spacing of 15 kilohertz with a numerology of zero. Uh, we are considering how the different resources are allocated in downlink. Um, there are different signals as well as channels. Uh, on the right side, if you see, these are transmitted from the base station to the UE. Uh, it starts with the synchronization signals, which is uh, to initially access the network. Then there are broadcast channel, which uh, contains the required information required by the UE to connect to the network. Then there are some uh, common control channel, which contains the scheduling information. Uh, then there are some shared channel, which contains the actual user data. And some reference signals are there also in 5G, which uh, estimates the above mentioned channels in more detail and uh, used to calculate the different kind of uh, CQI, PMI, or the rank immediate related information. The resources allocation is a little bit tricky in 5G. There are different ways it can be done. I'll show you one example. Um, in this example, we are considering a frequency range of two, which is a very high frequency band with the 50 megahertz of uh, channel bandwidth. Um, we are considering here, um, so for example, a subframe of 10. We are considering one full frame, so of 10 milliseconds. So here in this case, in the bottom, we can see the grid. Uh, the x-axis is the slots, which is the OFDM symbols in the time domain, and the y-axis is the frequency domain, which contains the resource blocks. Uh, now, for a better clarity, let's consider only one subframe here. So we are having 66 RPs here on the y-axis uh, because we are considering 60 kilohertz as a subcarrier spacing. If we change it, say for example, 420, it will be changed to 32. Similarly, on the x-axis, the slots, which are four slots per subframe here, again, it depends upon uh, the subcarrier spacing we are using. Uh, the kind of signals and the channels we discussed just a few minutes back, here is the allocation of those signals and channels. Uh, the yellow one here, or the orange one here, we can see it is uh, the common control channels. Uh, the blue one is basically a synchronization signal burst, which contains the synchronization signal as well as the broadcast channel. These are quite important and are fixed in uh, this particular grid. Uh, it cannot be changed. Yeah, their location is uh, prefixed. Then we have this orange uh, borderlines rectangles, which is the core set which talks about the downlink control information. And then rest of the uh, resources which are in green are basically the shared channel which carries the user information. Now all these uh, channels, we can check them a little bit in more detail at uh, the RE level. So we have to change certain settings. Say for example, uh, if we change the core set to two, we are having two symbols which are used for allocation of the PDCCH. Uh, similarly, we have a PDCH, PDSCH in, in RE level. We have a mapping for that also. So this is how we can see it. Thank you very much.